back here with the author of Be Useful, Seven Tools for Life. It's the greatest book ever written. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, <laughs> you've, you've, you've been doing talk shows for, for decades now. Oh, yes. But my, my understanding, when you first started doing talk shows, that you got some help from a really unlikely place. And I can't imagine how this came about. You, Milton Berle used to help you prepare. How did you get Milton Berle to be your comedy writer? Well, uh, first of all, let me say, when they started out, I didn't know Milton Berle yet. Um, he came in afterwards. When I started out, it was really wild because people were worried, talk show hosts were worried to have a bodybuilder on their show because they felt kind of like maybe the guy cannot talk or whatever. <laughs> so they had very little expectations. Yes. But that actually made me shine because I went on a talk show, I went on the Johnny Carson show and on the Murph Griffin show and those shows, and they would go, after I say the first sentence, they would say, oh my God. I said, what happened? Did you say anything wrong? And they said, no, but you can talk. <laughs> you know, the funniest reaction that you can imagine. Sure. So even when I said a normal sentence, they were impressed. So now- sure. the bar was very low. It was very low. So it yes. was actually a big advantage of mine uh, to go on those talk shows. And, uh, every, and I even talk about this in the book that when people have low expectations uh, from you, not to complain about it. Not to say, oh, you guys are wrong and I'm much smarter than that. But leave it alone because it's always good to come from behind and to have them not expect anything. And the same thing happened with me even in show business and when I ran for governor. When I ran for governor, I said, this guy is from, from an entertainment business. He doesn't know anything about politics. We can beat him easy. And then sure enough, two months later, after the election was over and it was election, the, 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 the campaign was over and it was election time, I won. I won, you know, so this yes. is, they come from behind and you win. That's the important thing. But you're asking me about Milton Berle. Milton Berle is a comedian that comes from Germany. His actual name is Berlin. And it's just shortened because in America, when you came to America, they always shortened your names because the Americans couldn't pronounce certain things. So, you know, they even wanted to shorten my name, but they didn't let them. Right? <laughs> but the bottom line is Milton met me at a party and he, Started saying to me, he says, you and I, we should work together. And I said, I need your help, Milton, because I, I have been asked always to give speeches somewhere. But I want to start the speech with a, in a funny way, but I don't really know how to make funny jokes and how to uh, really understand the American sense of humor. I said, I have the German and the Austrian sense of humor, but not the American sense of humor. And he says, oh, God, now I'm becoming the teacher of this Nazi. He would say, he says, <laughs> <laughs> and he would be complaining. He said, I don't know if I can do that and stuff like that. So anyway, but he was lovely. He helped me. We sat there every day and we worked on lines and on the delivery and all that stuff. And I remember one time he wrote this, uh, uh, this beginning of a speech where he said to me, he says, okay, they will give you an award, Arnold. And when you uh, thank them for the award, just make a joke out of it and just say, you know, I as a bodybuilder have gotten a lot of medals and a lot of trophies and awards and uh, this award here is the most recent. <laughs> and he would say, listen now. <laughs> he would come to me after that. He was there in the audience. He comes to me afterwards and says, you stupid idiot. <laughs> he says, why do you say most recent right away? He says, that's not the way the line goes. He says, you see how I put dots there and made pauses there and everything like this. He says, so you go out and you say, he says, I have won a lot of medals and a lot of trophies as a bodybuilding champion and a lot of awards, but this one without any doubt is the most recent. <laughs> so he taught me about time. Sure. He taught me That's about timing, you know. Girl. So this is the That's thing, you know. So it's all, it's all about timing. And so he would beat me up all the time about it. An idiot, Nazi, and all these kind of things he called me. <laughs> but, but the bottom line is he was so helpful always, writing me jokes and writing lines in movies, funny lines in movies and stuff like that. He was an absolute jewel. He came, you know, to my uh, engagement party, to the wedding and everything like that, hung out in my house. Uh, brought me always a lot of cigars. You know, he was a big cigar sure, smoker. Sure. Brought me a lot of cigars. So it was one of those wonderful relationships that I formed over the years. 
We have to take another break, but stick around. That's Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he'll be back when we return. <laughs>